Okay, so now it's time for us to thread our second petal. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of the threads from or from this back petal, petal two. I'm going to put it over the back of the petal. The reason why I do this is that it makes it easier for me to be able to keep track of and also grab the bundles than to try to pull it up when I put the other heddle in. The next thing you'll notice is that I have these binder clips and I'm going to use these to help stabilize putting the second heddle in. Now the Cricut Loom does not have built in a spot for you to have two heddles. But just with a little bit of ingenuity, we can do this. So I have these binder clips on either side of this heddle that I'm going to be threading the threads from the back through the front heddle. And the binder clips just give it a little bit more stability so that as I'm threading it, it just doesn't flop around so much. So we're just going to take it and we're going to have the binder clips and just put them on there so that, or I guess these wouldn't be called binder clips. Um, I don't know what they're called. They're just these clips. You can get them from the dollar store for a dollar or you can get them at your local box store, but just some type of clip that'll give it a little bit more stability. All right. So now what you're going to do when I threaded my heddle, when I was first warping the heddle, I put, I put, um, I did not warp all of the spaces. So I, I left a space unwarped on either side, just to make it a little bit simpler for this part when I'm explaining it to you. Whatever the width of your project, you're going to center it within your reed and you're going to thread the back heddle if you're warping back to front. Now it's going to be a little bit different if we're doing a indirect warp that was round wound on a warping board. But because we're using a narrow loom, we can warp with a warping peg. It does cause some problems with tangling behind the heddle and that's with whatever type of um, loom you have whether it's this loom or even the Ashford that has the space for two heddles, it's gonna cause a little bit of tangling, but that's not a problem. I'm gonna show you how to fix that a little bit later on. But what you're going to do when you get ready to warp this heddle, you're going to be putting your first threads in the slot. So you're going to take the thread from this hole and you're gonna put it in the slot that's directly to the right of the hole. Does that make sense? So this hole is the second hole from the right, which is here. So I'm going to take this thread and thread it here. And then I'm going to show you what to do with the rest. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this bundle of four. I'm going to call it a bundle of four again, just so that we understand that we need to do something with all the threads that were first um, together. So you have one whole thread and three slot threads. This is what we're going to do. We're going to take the whole thread or the thread that's running through the hole in the back kettle, and we're going to put it into the slot in the front heddle that is to the right, directly to the right of that hole. So we're going to take it and we're going to pull it through this slot. You have to catch it first. So we're going to pull it through the slot. All right. Now each of these three threads are going to go in a slot in a hole and in a slot. Now, the first slot is only going to have two threads in it. 
but all the other slots are going to have three threads except for the last slot which is only going to have one thread in it but we'll see that when we get there so we're going to take the next one of the threads from the bundle okay so now once we've taken this thread here and put it through this slot we're going to take one of the threads from the bundle and put it with the other thread in the slot and so we have two in the slot now we're going to take the other two and we're going to take one and put it through a hole and the other we're going to put it through a slot so now that's the first bundle. Now we're going to go to the second one. All right, so we have our four threads. We have one in a hole, three in a slot. We're going to take the one in the hole and we're going to put it with this one that's in the slot, the last one from the last bundle. We're going to take it, we're going to pull it through. So now it's in the slot. Now these three threads, we can think of them as slot hole slot so this thread here is going to go with the other threads so you have three in a hole you have one of them from the previous bundle and the hole from the last heddle and one of the slot threads and this one is going and we're going to take one of these two we're going to put that in the next hole And we're going to put this one in the slot. And so this is the one from the last, this is this last one is in this slot all by itself. Now we're going to go to our next bundle. So now we're going to put this thread that comes out of this hole with the other thread from the last slot. We have these three threads. We're going to put this one with the other two into this slot. And we're going to put this one into the hole. And this one into the slot. So we have three in the slot, one in the hole one waiting for the next bundle. I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to stop this camera so I can do this in a way that's a little bit easier on my back. So I'm going to take this thread, I'm going to put it with the thread from the last slot. This is a thread that's coming from the hole. It's coming from the hole in the back. It's going to go right with the thread in the last slot. From the previous bundle take one of these threads we're going to put it into the hole if i can hook it there we go i'm sorry i made a mistake it happens now here's how you can check if you make a mistake because i made a mistake the three threads that are in your three bundle it goes slot hole slot slot this is going to go with the other two to make up three. So each slot needs to always have three threads in it. Hole. And slot. Let's do it one more time. Okay, so we're going to have a ne our next bundle. We're going to take the whole thread and put it with the one from the last bundle. We're going to take these three threads and we're going to put one of the three with the other two threads, completing it, making sure that there's three in this hole, three in the slot, I'm sorry, three in the slot. We're going to take one of the threads from that slot and put it into the hole 
and then the last thread is going to go through the slot. All right. Now to check, you're going to take it, you can go up and make sure you just have one, go down, make sure you have just one thread going through a hole and three threads going through the slot. Except for the first one, you're going to have two threads there. 